Hey guys, what's up? We're finally in Houston, finally back in the hometown. Excited to represent the home city and meet all our fans on this Texas tour. I hope you get a chance to come out and say hi to us in Houston, Austin, and San Antonio. It's time! <laughs> Meeting everyone was like super duper cool and getting to like, like I said, interact with these fans that we actually represent and meeting them in person made us all feel a lot closer to them. And the, one, of the, one of the coolest things about it was we were given tons and tons of gifts. Rather it was like actual just like stuff you can hang on your wall or you can sleep with or you can eat even. Um, if I had to pick a personal favorite, uh, the last day we went out to dinner with some people who do our support or the watch parties and help organize them and they, uh, a guy actually knew someone who was really good at sewing and stuff and she put together a crow with a knife in its mouth and it had the little uh, tag on its leg and everything and it's like super well made and looks super realistic and it's really really cool and it's Probably one of the coolest things I've ever been given. It's gonna go right in my mantle, uh, without a doubt. I just got a note from a fan about to open it up. Let's see what's inside. Just get out of your face. Yeah, you just when I had long hair. All right, I guess you can fill in the blanks there for yourself. What a heartfelt message. Just, you know, I really appreciate this. Thanks to whoever wrote this. Twice, do it twice. Wait. Whoa. No, that's so cool. Look at it. I want this something Diva. my whole. Awesome. That's so sick. The vibe is very Link good. Link's are very sweet. Oh, oh! I want this. Oh, Jake, get a shot of this one. Yeah, I figured you'd like it. Dude. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, boy. That's sick. How much jerky did you get yesterday? I got $50 of jerky yesterday and flame like in it all. <laughs> Is this your first time ever having different yes, dots? I've never had and this. And it and looks like uh, what's the cream cheese thing? Like the, the cottage cheese. Yeah, it looks like cottage cheese. <laughs> it's a bun. Ice cream with a different yeah. texture. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that means bad. No, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Dude, I feel like you're so disappointed. Warheads. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what it is. And neither of you guys have had them before? No. no. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna try the, the yellow ones. Lemon. Fuck. No, it's supposed to break your jaw, dude. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he cringes. My mouth oh. is funny. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> How did this happen? Okay, so Boyk is eating Dippin' Dots, and he juiced literally all for himself. I did not. <laughs> and on my Yeezys. <laughs> I think the food was amazing, honestly. If I were to pick like one thing, I think like all the restaurants we went to, um, there was a lot of like amazing food. Uh, the meat there was, was really good. Uh, other than that, like the whole trip itself was like pretty amazing. Just seeing, you know, all the people who uh, support you and, and how much enthusiasm they had to come and see you is, uh, it's pretty incredible. Honestly, probably my favorite thing in general about like these meetings. I love being able to put names to faces. Like uh, I, I have people who have been subscribed to me on Twitch since literally like I played TF2 before Overwatch, and they come up to me and they're just like, "Yo, this is blah blah blah," and I'm just like, "Holy moly, you've been supporting me for like two years. I love you," and that's that's really cool. You don't want another fried drink, right? Put it up. Okay. <laughs> 
that like GPS no that's their that's their style hell yeah whatever let's know, go like, i'm experience. so excited dude but the best the burgers i've ever seen in my life Well, that's on a, uh, sir. Uh, can you hand feed them? Just stick it in his mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> what the f? Yo, pass me a pretzel stick, Rogers. They're so big. <laughs> Let's go, Austin. <laughs> go me. This guy. Austin. Hey, put it on me. Put it on me for a second. Put it on me for a second. Right? With the John. When you twist your John's a f***ing loser. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. What? Yeah. Do you see that? That's <laughs> unbelievable. Wait, hold on. Just kidding. Just kidding, John. I'm sorry. John, I would. I love you, John. No, John, please. You guys see that? John, please. I'm the new photographer. Whoa. You're so much better than John. All right, give me a <laughs> What? Uh, who's your favorite player on the Outlaws? Yeah, my favorite player is Jake. Uh, I just think he's a pretty funny guy. Uh, cool, Matt. Well, mine's actually a coach. Uh, it's Hyun Woo. Uh, I really appreciate how active he is on the Discord, and uh, I've played like Jackbox games and stuff with that with him, and it's it's just really fun to see how how much he works for the team, and it's really it's really cool to see. Fortunately, like I didn't have class. I go to university, and so kind of just took this time to start my weekend get to know the outlaws. So actually I get off school, I have like a different school, so I, I got off school at like 1.30, so I just drove right on down here right after and it worked out really well for me. I did skip class, I'm actually missing an exam, and I had to make up the craziest excuse to get a redo on an exam for today. What, what, what was your excuse? Uh, it was a work commitment and I like couldn't miss it, so. I'm super hyped, hopefully uh, some of their skills can like rub off on me, uh, hopefully to get a few signatures too. The fact that they're actually here, like I met them at preseason and it was like after a game, it was very informal, but I feel like because it's here, it's more important and it's close to home and we're like repping them in the home state. So. Yeah, it's a little unreal. I've never really done anything like this. Um, it seems like it's not even really happening at this point. It's like, oh, Thursday's coming up and that's the day when that outlaw's coming down. <laughs> it's really strange. Um, and so I'm just... I don't even know what to expect or what I'll do when I get in there, but I I'm just looking forward to it. They all seem like really, really nice people, and I'm just excited to say hi and, you know, get some stuff signed. There's a good chance that Cool Man will frame this. Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm not joking. I'm for sure he actually might frame that. Mm, nice. <laughs> one, for the, one for the big man. Later, Lucas. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the long Thank you guys. I really appreciate you starting. Feels good, man. That's awesome. Can I do like an Overwatch or something? Absolutely. You know, any Get that quality content, John. Muma is so happy. Perfect. You're walking there with Muma on your forehead. Yeah, let's go. What's is this a new jersey? Uh, yeah, I just bought it. Oh, I was just supporting, just supporting, supporting one of my favorite players in the league. There was like one girl who um, she wasn't able to make it to one of the meets. I think it was the the San Antonio meet she couldn't make it to, but she came to the, the Austin meet. She was like apparently in like uh, a car, not a car crash, but she had like crashed her car. Um, so it's just interesting that, you know, she couldn't make it because of like a horrible thing and then she came the next day, like all of that I kind of like brushed out of her mind, you know, like almost I totaled my car, had a, had a really bad crash, but I still want to, you know, be here and, and see people that I look up to and I think that's, uh, that's dedication. And she drove an extra like three hours too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us definitely feel a lot closer to our, our Texas fan base, which is really cool and we spent so much time together, like there was legitimately like no periods of time where we weren't with at least one other teammate. So we're obviously going to feel a lot closer to each other. And the, the connection that we now feel to the fans that are in these cities uh, is really personal now. And since we all experienced it together, we have that like similarity between all of us, which in turn makes us a lot closer. So that's really cool. And like we don't really ever get to like go anywhere. 
uh, and do anything that isn't really like playing Overwatch these days. We, you know, early on in the season we had like a lot of leeway and we were able to play board games and like go out to eat all the time together. Um, but we didn't really have that uh, scheduled at any time. So to have it kind of like, you know, push, to push us to go do it is like a thing that I think really helped. Um, you know, all of us are really good friends and, and we love to spend time, to each, time with each other and we love to laugh with each other. I would do it again, you know, I, I love these guys, so. Gaming is now like my career, it's like the forefront of my life um, and everything is centered around it. I never thought I'd be able to be, become a professional like this, this is just, we're just treated like superstars. Jake Lyon and Shane Flaherty play for the Houston Outlaws. The Overwatch League is a global professional sports league. It's just that the sport we're playing is a video game. They're chasing me! It works just the same way that traditional sports leagues work. The highest skilled people in the world are playing a game for spectators. I think this is a sport. Fans enjoy it. That's what matters most. You can't have sports without fans. And we're back now with two faces of the future of sports. And it is nowhere near a field or a court. It's all online. Joining me now, two of the best-known players of the Overwatch League, Jake Lyon and Shane Flaherty of the Houston Outlaws. Welcome to you both. All right, so it's Jake, and I know, Shane, you like to go by Rockus, which I kind of like. Um, I still don't get it. So please explain it to me as, like, assume I am a third grader. So exactly, let's start off with you know, what the game is, right? Because a lot of people you know, think competitive gaming, you're just playing every game, you know, where's, it, where's it really focused? And we only play Overwatch, that's, that's our game, that's where we compete, uh, much the way you know, a, a, an athlete would only play one you know, game, they could only compete. As... Actually, when we were in Texas, um, Jake and Rockus got invited to do the Today Show in New York City with, um, with an emphasis on esports, I'm assuming. <laughs> Um, but they actually, you know, it happened and all of a sudden. They were they were here for a day when we got back from Texas. Now they're leaving again, so uh, we're we're scrimming with like subs and we're doing like some crazy uh, with a bunch of subs and it's it's kind of chaotic, but it's a good opportunity and it's a it's a great way to put esports on the map. I think it's going to uh, bridge the gap between a lot of viewers who might not know much about Overwatch or esports or anything, um, and just really show us, you know, show everyone how cool esports can be and how how it's growing. Oh and how it's like a real thing now in our society and uh, it's not going away. So I'm sure they'll do an amazing job. I'm sure they'll, they'll represent us really well. I have no doubt in my mind, so look forward to that.